like, I like the fact that you described Maven as a family. You mm. understand everybody allows um, everyone to grow and we use the WhatsApp group like a joke and everything. Mm. Mm. But there's no family that doesn't have. How do you guys? How do you guys settle issues? How do you guys settle quarrels mm. amongst yourself? Because we, wherever there are creative people, there's always. It's how you manage it that. You know. Um, so how do you, how do you guys make it settle these things? For me, it's kind of hard to say because it's always easier when you're speaking from uh, personal experience. Oh, okay. And I haven't, I will say yet, because you never know, it's like <laughs> had any personal grievance with anybody on the label, you know, uh, any artist on the label or the label itself. And um, so it's hard to say how it is handled. <laughs> on the ZTV. My name is Abisola Alawadi and today I have uh, a guest who, um, what's that, what's that line? You know, the Bible says someone who I'm well pleased in. Ah, man, I can't remember. <laughs> but a guest I'm, I'm, some, I'm pleased with. Hey, this is gentlemen, please is welcome, Ladi Paul. Yeah. In the building. My brother, how you doing? I'm good, man. Thank I'm you great. very, very much for welcoming us into this, your humble Space. Abode. Yeah, his space. Let me space. Use, let me use space now, because mm. I know the, the people watching at home are usually they, are, they used to seeing our studio background and everything. But like I said, this is a very interesting, it's an interesting episode. Paul, thank you very much. Once I'm again. glad you guys are here. I'm glad thank you guys you, are here. Thank yeah. you very yeah. much. Before no. Paul came to be, like Paul the musician, Paul the rapper, and everything, is that is is there a distinction between Lady Paul or Paul? Because <laughs> I feel like that's something. <laughs> that's an interesting question, you know. Okay. Um, Paul has always been Paul is. It's funny because, first and foremost, for people that don't know, my name is Ladipo, oh. right? Obviously. And it's so funny. Okay. Our audio engineer here, we were recording one time, and I said something. He said, are you Yoruba? <laughs> I said, yes. He said, what's your name? I said, Ladipo. And I said, oh, Ladipo passed like this guy. <laughs> I thought it was obvious, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know? What's your full name, though? My name is Oladipo. Oladipo. Esho. Oladipo. Esho. Esho. Okay. Yes, yes. Ladipo okay. Obakayo de Esho. I shouldn't Obakayo. even say that. You guys don't use my name for any, any nonsense out there <laughs> but yeah um <laughs> so um for me the name Oladipo came from i was in school in yankee yeah. and they could not say Oladipo. they could not say they could say they started calling me first it was lapido okay bro no nah, i struggled no, no let's not do that. <laughs> so then and now got to La Depot. I said, okay, well, I'm moving, we're moving up. Then from there, like my roommate couldn't even say that. So he started saying, I'm just going to call you Po. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then from there, and I called Ladi Po. Ah, finally, we're there. You know, but from there, Po kind of stuck. My family members call me Po, everybody calls me Po. Oh. So that was the name I decided, let me just stick with that name when I started to make music. But then, got one email one time. Okay. I think it was after I dropped Man Already, I was like 2017. And he was pretty much saying, look, we are representing so so and so. Her name is Poe, American based singer, folk singer, da 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 da. You have two choices. <laughs> oh, they were spelled it Yes, out. pretty okay. much. And it was okay. like, I either uh, have to, they, they wanted to either, I can't remember what it was, but my option was, let me change my name mm -hmm. from that to Ladipo, which was easy, anyways. Let's put the Ladipo yeah, so I didn't want any so. legal wahala. Mm -hmm. So um, changed the name to Ladipo and it stuck. Easy people. In fact, the transition was people who already yeah, started calling me. Yeah. Because we, you know, it's a very simple name. Yeah, like Ladipo. Even on tracks, I already before I even changed, I already saying it's Ladipo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so. I, I feel like that's what called it, making it easy you for too. people yeah. to just, yeah, to just. It was legal just, reasons that made me change my name. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me let me ask you this now. You have something on your Twitter, your Twitter page. I think is what is being there. Nigeria's best choice. Mm. For a Grammy. Nigeria's best chance of a rapper winning chance a Grammy. Chance of a rapper winning a Grammy. Yeah, yeah. Is that something you're just saying or you truly, truly believe? I'm, I'm asking this because we know people say a lot of things. Mm. You understand? People I actually say thought a lot of maybe things. you just put it there, like seeing it was Grammy, it's Grammy season. Mm. But it's been there since last year. Yeah, it's been there since last year. Talk to me, talk to me about that. I mean, I don't even think it's a dream that is unfamiliar to many artists. I mean, you know, growing up, all of us, a lot of us, a lot of us have seen the Grammys as like target. Okay. A lot of young artists. So it's, I'm just first, f last year was the first time I just voiced it as, okay. this is, you guys, let me let, let me let you in on a secret, come close. <laughs> come close. I want to win a Grammy. Okay. It is a dream, okay. you know, so me saying it is to put it out in the universe. 
I mean working towards it. Mm. Whether it happens, only God can say, but it's, I believe I'm growing to be that caliber of artist, mm. puts out the kind of music that is on that level. It's, 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 it's world class. I'm Nigerian, I'm a Nigerian artist that makes music that is world class. That doesn't mean that I make music that is for any particular race or da 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 da. I and just know that? that it's I'm on that level, okay. you know, and I and I'm working hard for as many people to realize that as possible because that's what you need to do if you want to become that that kind of artist. You know, people need to see. Okay, so, so I hear you. I hear you. But in my mind, I'm looking like, okay, yeah, this is plenty. Of people say plenty talk when the full bars get. Mm, do you understand? Course, How do you as quickly as possible? How do you plan to do it? Like, how do you plan to get that call? You know, you know the thing about this stuff, eh? Mm. You know, like you said, it's not even too much talk. It's the work. Mm. It's the work. I mean, like, using, we, we talked about Kobe earlier. His work ethic was ridiculous. Way out of this world. Right? Do you know? And yeah. if, if you want to be that kind of artist, you have to put in that kind of work. You have to release that kind of music on a consistent basis. You have to be known for great music mm. and all I can say is, like you said, I don't want to do too much talk. Check the track record. <laughs> the track record. Check the track record. Check the verses. Check the check the body of work. You know, and um, that's one thing I want to increase. Okay. I want to I want to put more projects out. You know, people are some people are single artists. Me, I'm bodies of, a body of work. So you still believe in the, uh, the heavily of body of work? Heavily, heavily. A single can only a single can only show one aspect of you, mm. maximum maybe one and a half two. But a body of work shows a lot, you know, and singles are, I will never judge an artist based on his single because I know that that's something that is carefully put together to appeal to as many people as possible. When I listen to your project, I know, I, ca I kind of know who you are, you know, and so bodies of work are important, I think. I share, I share your, your opinion on that. Um, a number of us were surprised when we heard you decide to leave it. Mm. That's the truth of the matter. We'd be a surprise. Yeah. Because based on the fact that we, I don't think maybe that had rappers, except for the Prince. Mm. Like, but then we heard you, Johnny Drina. Who else? I'm trying to remember. DNA signed at the same DNA, time. DNA, yes. Yeah. You all have been. Yeah. Okay, so the journey to Maven, mm. as quickly as possible. I wouldn't even call it a journey to Maven. It was sort of, I was on my journey. And, and Maven uh, came in. Yeah, the opportunity to, to join Maven came along, and at that point in time, I was I knew I needed more eyes and ears on what I did. I did I knew what I was doing was unique, and also Maven was at a place where they wanted to diversify their sound. They wanted to add something different, and they started to see into the space. You can call it alternative if you want to, yeah. but it just wasn't the mainstream sound. Johnny's sound and my sound are not sounds that you typically had you know find in the mainstream then. However, it's so funny because what Johnny's doing now more and more people are embracing it. Yes, Journey so. and I are the two kind of artists that you would have told your music won't work in this country. That's and true. we have been told that. That's but Johnny Drill just did three shows last year. Johnny Drill live in three different cities. Right. And they were also, I spoke to him when, when he was about to go to Abuja. I think when it was within one day, I can't remember, sometime last year. Yeah. And I was just, man, John, Ben John gave a shout out to Johnny, man. That's See, like major, you know, major thing. It's man. major, but to be honest, and as much as we're very excited and proud, I'm not really surprised. Yeah. That's the level that the music is at, you know. And for me, I did. I dropped for people that said, "Ah, oh, Maven will change your sound." I dropped my first project, Talk About Po, a rap project that had rap songs on a record label that doesn't do rap. So to me, it's like I'm not afraid to do the for the challenge. And I understand, though, it was valid for my fans to be apprehensive. Yeah, you know, they didn't see what, you know, we had come. Myself and Maven had conversations like. We have to, if we're going to do this, let's really do this, you know, and it's taking a while. But I think people are starting to see the product of that combination and that union. More music is coming out this year to further let them know. We dropped Jaya last year. We'll drop big songs. I'm not worried. Of course. Yeah. Of course, because I feel like you just, you just affirmed what a number of us felt and thought. You understand? The sound wasn't going to change. I don't mm. think it has changed. Mm. I don't think it's changed. Po is still Po. The rapper is still giving us his bars. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact that you're here now, just like you just have more ears and more support yeah. on the uh, on, uh, on general basis. So, this question has always been in my mind for for labels like me even I have a number of artists. You guys have like general meetings. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Today, don't be late. We have a general <laughs> meeting. Um. Or do you guys? Because I know the MW has a WhatsApp group. And I, I, if they can give me the chance, just give me like two minutes. Let me just what about. We're <laughs> talking about. The <laughs> you know, funny enough, we we did when I joined. Like when I joined, part of the thing was you know, um, did a video and all that stuff, and now 
and also you have been added to Maven Group. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, I'm finally activated. Abby. Um, yeah. You know, but I in terms of that, we we did have a WhatsApp group. I do, we don't really use it as much now, but we see each other often enough. And Maven has always been about building family and camaraderie. So I actually got to spend time with T.Y. Savage, got to spend time with Dr. Sid, with Corey with Ricardo and all these kind of people. And it has made me grow, mainly from my work ethic. Like T.Y. is so hardworking. And T.Y. is so like generous with, like she will help you on a song. She'll tell you, oh, this is dope. And I have voice. It's like, oh, Paul, that, no, that's my, I, when she says that, I'm like, mm, charge, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so, I mean, so to have that kind of environment and these big, stars mm -hmm. telling you that you know you're onto something it's, it's heavy you know and then i ended up doing a song with her so to me um it's been a great experience in that regard but my they've allowed me to keep my um my sound which i think that's what every artist at the end of the day really wants mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying and also pushing me to make me realize that bro you're the best at this because I, I see myself in this space and it's no longer just about being the best but i realize that i'm by default i'm shaping myself to be the gold be standard the gold of standard. of, of of rap and and not even just I don't say hip hop anymore, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not about so hip hop. What do you say in blazing hip hop? I mean, because it's becoming more like it's just like rap based music. I'm still looking for my own. I kn I know what I call my own music. Yeah. I call my music lifelines. No punchlines, <laughs> just lifelines. That's <laughs> me. Oh, that's what that means. Yeah. Oh, okay. No life. Okay, no okay, no okay, punchlines, okay. just lifelines. Okay. Like you know, because my own lifelines are deeper than punchlines. Punchlines mm. are cooler. Mm. But when me I talk, you listen. You listen. That's yeah. my. I'm trying to come for come up with a general term for what's happening with rap in Nigeria because hip hop, yeah. Mm. To be honest, it's a culture. It's a genre. It's a style. That's that's strongly American based. How can we Nigerian rappers only be in hip hop? Hip hop is just one sound. Yeah. When we grew up with all these vibes around yeah, us, so definitely you can't put yourself in the box. Oh, no. like, we, we can't hide these. We can't oh, prevent yeah. these melodies from entering our rap. We can't uh, prevent these rap styles and deliveries from entering our music. It can it really be called hip hop anymore? Can hip hop really contain? what we do here in Africa and in Nigeria, no. So I really, one of the things I'm trying to do with young rappers is encourage them to realize that the categories, if you want to be in hip hop, stay there, that's fine. Mm. But if you feel like you're more, then you're more. I mean, don't let anybody, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want to use the word, what's the word I'm looking for? I, what can I remove place in place? I don't want to say slot shame, but is it music shame you yeah. into just being yeah. the yeah. life? I feel you. Yeah, I feel you know, like but I think a lot of them are, don't worry, right now everybody's kind of focused on beef. Beef is like a big thing in rap right now. And See? they think it's distracting, but it, it, it's, it's good and bad because good it attracts attention, but it's distracting. I, I like the fact that you described Maven as a family. You mm. understand everybody allows um, everyone to grow and you use the WhatsApp group like a joke and mm. everything. Mm. But there's no family that doesn't have. How do you guys? How do you guys settle issues? How do you guys settle quarrels mm. amongst yourself? Because we, in, wherever there are creative people, there's always. It's how you manage it that. You know. Um, so how do you, how do you guys make it settle these things? For me, it's kind of hard to say because it's always easier when you're speaking from uh, personal experience. Oh, okay. And I haven't, I will say yet, because you never know, it's like <laughs> had any personal aggrievance with anybody on the label, you know, uh, any artist on the label or the label itself. And um, so it's hard to say how it is handled. Mm. From my outside looking in, because I've not seen any major, major fallout, any major, when I walk into the studio, I can see that this person is not talking to this person, <laughs> or uh, I just walk past and I saw somebody yelling at somebody. It's yeah. difficult for me to see. I, there must be a way that people are settling it okay. because I've not seen any like major outburst or major fallouts. So that means either people are settling it or people are hiding their inner... Uh, yeah, so I mean, like, it's easier to answer that if there should ever be an issue that I have and I find it difficult to settle or or I have to, I had to have it settled in a real time. I mean, so far, so good. If there's, if I ever d feel like, you know, I'm not being heard, you know, I would speak to the relevant people. I think that's one thing. The doors are open, which oh. is always a good thing. Oh, yeah. If I want to speak to Jazzy, I can speak to Jazzy. If I want to speak to Tega or Rima, head of ENR, I can do that. Can that's key. Okay, so as quickly as possible, let's talk about the state of hip hop. You've mentioned it already, but let's talk. Beef is it necessary? How do you? Because people tell you that's the only way you prove you're the best. Is that, is that necessary as quickly as possible? What I, to be honest, you're because I, you know, I saw Tupac and Biggie. To me, that was beef. 
mm. beef, what I understand from hip hop is like people really have a dislike for each other yeah. and um, they have something to say. And if they see each other in the streets, it's going to go down, it's going down. right? But I think what's happening now is more, it's more like marketing tools, mm. which, which is okay. I don't knock that because yeah. it works. We have the kind of audience base that likes grand rap. Kind of, yes. you know, see, trust me, as you're walking out, two people are fighting in the street. Some of us, some of, someone's going to video it. You know, mm -hmm. we like that kind of stuff. So, I don't really think what's happening is beef. Mm -hmm. I think what's happening is statements. Somebody <laughs> argues and then distracts. But I think it's kind of exciting. Me, I'm just the kind of person that doesn't like to get distracted by something somebody's not serious about. Mm. So you put my name in something, you don't really mean it. You just want to attract attention. Mm. It's difficult, not impossible, but difficult for me to say, all right, I'm going to stop making this music. I'm going to write the bars for you to now put out when it's not going to move the needle. Nobody's streaming mm. it. It's not giving me royalties. Mm. However, this year, I feel like, hey, just be careful when you use my name because mm. I have a little bit more time on my hands. Okay, so you're coming to smoke. I mean, I just feel like, you know, Hey man, I, res I respect myself. I'm talking to you because I respect you because you give me respect. So if, yeah. if you feel like the urge to disrespect, do not expect a polite response. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think that's the level that it's at now. Beef is fine. If you want to use it as a marketing tool, your single is coming out. Don't let it distract you from the bag okay. and know when to move on. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to that's say about it really. And the rest of it is kind of funny. You're into I, look, we have comedians now. Uh, yo, if you're an artist and you're not a comedian, what are you really what doing? You really I'm the one that, you know, do you know I'm messing up because okay. I actually need to be a comedian now. Because these guys are my entertainment. I don't look, see, from now on, if when I go to bed, yeah. I'll just go on TikTok or Instagram yeah. and laugh. I'll just laugh out. Laugh. Yeah. Your music yeah. might not even be that dope, but you're funny. Mm. That's, That's good fine. enough for me. Yeah, That's you know what I'm funny is when it's a show with Yeah, music. it's key. It's key in this it's industry. Easy. We like humor. Okay, so basically, Po is saying if you have smoke, bring the smoke and. Let's 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 see let's see how it works. Okay? You're funny you for that joke. statement. That's <laughs> hilarious. It's the truth, man. Thank you very much for talking to us. Before we go, tell the people what you're working on at the moment. I know you have uh, you have a series, now music series, where you put in on music every week. Uh, Revival Sunday. I just Revival end, Sunday, ended it yeah. last. Sunday or was it two weeks ago? Yeah, that Revival was, Sunday. That was a dope idea. It was fun. I, I didn't have, I had a show in 2018. I didn't have a show last year. I was like, what can I do for my audience? Because I'm always about my fans. Mm -hmm. What can I do for them? So I was like, ah, I give them music every single week. It was, and, and visuals. So it was yeah, dope. Yeah. So I was working, I worked on Revival Sunday. That was dope. You need to go online, go to my website, go to my audio Mac, check out every single song. That's one, two. A lot of music coming out this year. I'm working on a new project. Not my second album, but mm -hmm. something before that. But it's it's dope. I want to be. A, I'm a bit more free on this one, having a lot more fun on this mm -hmm. one. So um, that's coming soon. More visuals coming soon. It's really going to be an exciting year because there's going to be collaborations as well. Okay. People that I respect outside of Nigeria that I want to work with. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! You can't just say that. You can't just through that. Give us names. Can you give us names? Though? No, I, I don't think I can give, I give you names. I'm okay. Tell us the person's hair color. Because <laughs> everybody has. Yo, to that's hair actually color. true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I mean. Uh, hair color, her hair. See, I'll give you a hint. Her hair color yeah. changes. Uh, the person's hair color changes. It changes. Yeah, it's not always the same. That's one. That's one hint. But I can give you a hint of somebody here yeah, in yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. One of the Nigeria features. Okay. Uh, who should I give you a hint on? Um, uh, okay, okay. Let's. Who? Who? Just who comes to mind? Um, my baby, my baby. My yeah, that's true boy. My shady. Whoa, whoa. That's that's true boy. Though. Is it? Oh yeah. Is it? Oh come on. Man. Is it? Are you, are you sure? You don't seem sure. Guys, decide for us, but so let's let's look forward to this collaboration. So he told us he has a he has a song coming up with Lady Gaga. She's one that took me that. Oh, Katy Perry. Yo, oh. I won't mind though. <laughs> trying to get trying to get that Grammy. Oh, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Let me ask this last question. Do you write your lines? Do you write them to them down? Because like, like tell me like in a book. Not not oh, it's it's just like say you hear a beat and you just see it like on couch or something. Uh, like it, when I started, it was always I had to write it down. Yeah. Now I'm at the point where it's both. You know, sometimes I write down, sometimes straight to the mic, straight record. The mic. I like the lines. I take, I say, solo this, mute that, mute that, and I work on the lines in my head. So it really is how the song is hitting me. So basically, it's like you've been doing it for a while now. So it's like second nature. It, it's it's part of the DNA now at this point. Okay. Because you know what I'm saying that because I've I've spoken to a number of artists and they all tell not even one I've. They all, like, not all of them, but a number of them say they don't write the songs. Mm. And I find it hard to believe. It Why? Because I feel like these songs are really, really arranged. Like, you know, because in my mind, I feel like you just sing the whole thing, but I know that's not how it works. No, 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 no. Yeah, you yeah. understand? So I hear you say some bars, and I'm like, did you write this down? 
Man, you know, come on. It, it depends. Some of them just hit. Like, I had a song on my project called Win Win. A lot of that came straight from mind. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I would say one thing, though. I'm a writer. I love to write. So I write a lot of stuff down. It's part... That's actually fun for me, to write it down and listen, look at the word over and over and say, what do I want to do? So, but it's... Now I'm seeing myself in both places, you know. It's evolution. Evolution. Yeah. Okay, but before, before we go, why don't you just put out these things, apart from the fact that you have to rap them, mm -hmm. these things that you write, you can't just keep them to yourself. Oh. To yourself, put out poetry, put out stuff. So, it's so funny. Put out a book or something. It, pff, wow, that's... That's a thought. Never ever thought about that. You've never thought about it. Yeah, I've never been. Thing? I've never been somebody that writes down like it, like poetry. Mm. But it's probably something I could. What do. you do is poetry with, with, with drums and beats. At yeah, the true. I've you never, I've so never they, ever thought about that. So if I see it in future, that's mad. Pro Lady Poe's book of friends. Yeah. Yo, everybody that's in the studio, <laughs> run it, run it, run it.